hi guys welcome to today's session and today we are going to discuss about uh, bio fortification in this session we will first discuss what is bio fortification and then we'll discuss why bio fortification is needed and then we'll see how our crops fortified and then we'll discuss uh, how does bio fortification differ from food fortification and uh, then we'll discuss uh, the importance of bio fortification and uh, challenges for uh, bio fortification in india so this is how i plan this session let's now start so friends Biofortification is the process of increasing nutritional value of food crops by increasing the density of vitamins and minerals in a crop through either conventional plant breeding or agronomic uh, practices or biotechnology. So this is the process and uh, the examples of these vitamins and minerals uh, that can be increased through fortification include Pro vitamin A, uh, carotenoids, zinc, and iron. Uh, so that is the uh, basic idea about uh, the bio fortification. Now we will discuss why bio fortification is needed. The first point here is hidden hunger. Hidden hunger is lack of vitamins and minerals, and hidden hunger occurs when the quality of food people eat does not meet the nutrient requirements. So the food is uh, deficient in micronutrients such as vitamins and minerals that uh, need for their growth and development. Uh, so biofortification will inject these vitamins and minerals into the food and thereby help uh, curbing the heat and hunger. Um, next point is importance of nutrition that is essential nutrients are compounds that can uh, the body can't make or can make it sufficient quantity. Uh, so according to World Health Organization, these nutrients must come from food and they are vital for disease prevention, growth and good health. So despite uh, this, uh, there is a decline in percentage of uh, number of women and children suffering from anemia in the past few years. The high absolute numbers are worrying. Incidentally, anemia accounts for 20% of maternal deaths that take place in the country. Uh, so, uh, biofortification will solve this problem also uh, to a certain extent. Uh, so, that are the uh, that is why biofortification is essential in our country. Now, we'll discuss how are uh, the crops fortified. So, for crop fortification, conventional crop breeding techniques are used to identify varieties with particularly high concentration of desired nutrients. And these are uh, crossbred with varieties with another desirable traits uh, from the target areas uh, such as a uh, virus resistant, drought tolerance, high yielding taste, etc. Uh, and to develop a uh, biofortified varieties uh, that have high levels of micronutrients such as vitamin A, iron or zinc in addition uh, to the other traits desired by farmers and consumers. And we have uh, agronomic biofortification that is it entails application of minerals such as zinc or iron as foliar or soil applications uh, drawing on plant management, uh, soil factors and plant characteristics to get uh, enhanced content of key micronutrients into the edible portion of the plant. So that is agronomic biofortification and uh, now we will discuss uh, how does biofortification uh, differ from food fortification. Biofortification has the increased nutritional micronutrient content embedded in the crop being grown and food fortification increases the nutritional value of foods by adding trace amounts of micronutrients to foods during processing. So that is the difference. One is uh, embedded in the crop being grown and other one is uh, added when the processing of foods are taken place and almost every country in the world now faces a stern nutrition related challenge whether arising from undernutrition or obesity india is also striving hard uh, to fight the problem of hidden hunger uh, so biofortification is need of the hour now we discuss what are what are the importance of biofortification the first point is uh, biofortified crops are rich in iron and have the potential to improve iron status and cognition uh, that helps in improving the overall health of human 
and uh, biofortified crops are also often more resilient to pest diseases high temperatures drought and provide a high yield and also it fills an important gap as it provides a food based sustainable and low dose alternative to iron supplementation it does not require behavior change and it can reach the poorer section of uh, society and supports local farmers and after the initial investment to develop uh, the biofortified seed it can be replicated and distributed without any reduction in micronutrient concentration this make it uh, highly cost effective and sustainable and considering the various implementation of a barriers faced by genetically modified crops in india biofortification which can be done through non genetically modified methods as well as can be a better alternative uh, so these are the importance of biofortification now we'll uh, discuss uh, what are the challenges for biofortification in india so the challenges are what first one is lack of consumer acceptance uh, due to color changes for example golden rice is a biofortified rice so people are hesitant to purchase uh, this type of uh, products are uh, due to the color changes and their appearance and the last mile reach of fortified food remains a big uh, challenge and second point is adoption of farmers and cost involved in process of fortification also poses a challenge for biofortification in, in india and though biofortification can be done using non genetically modified methods it is a slower process than the genetic modification and the existence of an effective seed and rural extension system for multiplication and dissemination of new varieties will also pose a new challenge uh, so these are the major challenges faced by biofortification in india so guys that's all for today and this is a very important topic and uh, you can expect question in prelims as well as mains also uh under environment and ecology it is a very important uh topic and also under the category of science and technology also they can ask uh, this question so please study about this in detail we'll meet tomorrow with another topic thank you for watching this lesson